Good afternoon, Aprilia community. So this here is my 2021 RS660 in its track form, uh, meaning it's got race body work on it. Today, in the mail, I got this gadget right here, a PZ Racing AP600 GPS receiver lap timer unit. I got it from AF1 Racing down in Texas. Um, and the idea here is that I want to be able to enable automatic use of the lap timer in the bike. Um, so a little bit of explanation here. The, uh, this bike, like a lot of modern bikes, has uh, a lot of electronics on it. And if you unplug the headlight, it throws a great big red error message on the dash. Tells you your headlight's unplugged, which is annoying. Um, so to get rid of that, you have a headlight emulator, and the one I got is the Aprilia Special Parts emulator developed by Gabber Racing in Italy. Um, a side effect of this uh, emulator, uh, which uh, tricks the bike into thinking the headlight's still engaged, is that it disables manual use of the lap timer. Um, the trigger, the way you normally uh, activate it is with the high beam trigger, this, and um, it stops functioning because the emulator doesn't allow that to happen. Um, that's no big deal. I don't really care all that much about lap time, but it's kind of fun to have. Nice, uh, nice little bit of data. Uh, this emulator also, however, has a secondary uh, or a second lead coming out of it, going to that white connector there. And the connector is designed specifically to interface with this gadget here. In theory, what happens is uh, this picks up a GPS signal, it feeds it straight into the dash, and it automatically keeps track of your lap time. You don't have to press any buttons. You don't have to activate it at all. You roll up to the track. It loads the track location uh, into um, the unit from um, a file in its flash memory uh, firmware file. So it knows where it is. And it, as soon as you start uh, riding and cross start finish every lap, it will keep track. Of your lap times. All that data is stored here for later dumping onto a PC laptop or desktop. Um, and it does that via Wi-Fi. Um, pretty cool idea in theory if it works. A couple of disadvantages to it. One is that you can't um, test it unless you're at the track that's loaded into the, uh, into the firmware. So uh, there is a test procedure for that which is not documented anywhere and that's what I'm here to show you today. So here's the unit, uh, and this is the software. It's called Race Pro, uh, running on a very ancient laptop. I've got the dialog open because sometimes it'll glitch you getting it to work, but it does. Um, what you do is you connect your laptop to the Wi-Fi network. This is the name of the Wi-Fi network, PZ Racing S600, and I haven't renamed it yet, so it, this is just the default name. Um, getting this, and if you do, and you press the Wi-Fi icon here, uh, you'll get this dialog. Uh, this shows you a few things about the uh, device, um, how to set it up. It shows you satellites. Uh, it lets you download your data. All sessions are just the last session. It lets you clear the memory of the device. Uh, that data goes into the Race Pro software for analysis. You can also export it uh, to programs like Race Render for overlay onto video, which is how I'm going to be using it. So the undocumented feature that I'd like to show you here is the test feature. So here, you press test and it talks to the unit and it tells you what firmware you're running and everything's okay, great. Uh, what's not documented is that it will also actually uh, operate the lap timer on the bike um, if it's running and in first gear and on a stand. Um, I only found that out because I was randomly scrolling around in the Aprilia forum looking for more information about this thing and uh, somebody mentioned this. Um, so a uh, little bit of serendipity, and I want to show you about it, it, it today. If you got one of these things and you're getting frustrated by the lack of information about it, uh, this might help you, at least ease your mind. It did mine. So it's going to get noisy in a minute. I'm going to, I got to start the bike. I'm going to put it in, it's in first gear, so I'm going to let it run. It's on a paddock stand, and I'll show you what to be looking for as the test runs. Um, the high beam light will flash a few times, and the timer will start operating. Um, that's after I run this test again. So let's fire it up and uh, forgive the shake. But this is the nature of the beast. Okay, now I run the test again.
is okay. We know that it works. We know that it's talking to um, the device and the bike are in fact talking to one another. It gives me confidence that it's gonna actually work in the real world. So thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Um, we'll see if we can get the manufacturer to improve their documentation a little bit or at least publish some information online because none of this is anywhere that I've been able to find. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.